All right, guys. Day five starting here. Still at Bannamere. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. We have an 11 hour drive. Well, it would have really liked to have been on the road about six o'clock this morning, but Andy's car, we just were missing the pilot adapter for the LS flex plate. So we had to wait for somebody to machine us one this morning. It's gonna be a very hot drive today, but this is race week. We have a full drive day. I think we have about a 10 or 11 hour drive, like I said. So probably be a late one, but this is what you do. You know, if it was all perfect, it'd be easy. So follow along. See how the day goes. These guys never left. Full engine swap for the Tom and Blaine start crew. Have you slept at all? Zero sleep. Does it run? Does it run? Dude. You guys are beasts. So you found an engine local, pulled it at the track. I got a video of it last night with the forklift and you guys just crushed it, huh? Man. Yeah, we, we, uh, it was in and ready to fire about 4.30. And we decided let's lay down and chill for a minute before we make a silly mistake. Gather ourselves. Exactly. Because it, I mean, what are we going to do? Start driving? No. Yeah, exactly. Right? So we laid here for two hours. I don't know that I slept any, but. Recovered a little I bit. I've been here the whole time, of course. Beast mode, dude. It's hot. Good job. It is hot. <laughs> My main man, Bruce. Dude, you guys are beasts. Super proud of you. Anybody else could have just quit. So <laughs> hopefully we can get the GTO fix. And then uh, I think we're probably the last ones to leave here. You guys and us, yeah. Corey's machining new parts right now? Uh, he found an adapter. He did? Yeah, he found one. Did he so. call Corey off? What's that? Did he tell Corey to quit making that? Corey part? found an adapter. Oh, Corey did. His dad's lathe broke as he was making it, the piece. That so. sounds it's going together right now? Uh, we haven't got it yet. Okay. Corey's on his way over, so. Okay. Well, we will see you guys in Kearney. We'll see you in Kearney. You need some sleep. <laughs> We're get Good thing is we got all day to get there. That's right. Yep. I'm working on this thing and Andy's taking a shower. Yeah, where the hell is Andy at? What is going on? Something I can't get to going back to get a real quick though. With a little expedience. Thanks to Corey, Easy. one of our customers. He brought us a pilot spacer. It's good to know people. Oh, yeah. Good people, especially. He didn't get a he didn't get a speeding ticket though. I thought he was going to. We won't, right. we won't talk about how fast he was going to get here. Speed limit. Speed limit. Double. <laughs> Always the <Yeah. a> speed limit. <laughs> oh, here we go. There's a red on it. Fire it up. I want to check that. Make sure you got a little pressure. What's that? Check that wind quick. Like it. Yeah. Just uh, we'll ride up and get in the car. Yeah, it will just ride up. And... Is that third? Oh, I, I like to start in first. Start in first and let's see what it feels like. One, two, three, all that matter. That's first. I go second. Second. Third. Okay, you got and you got neutral, I'm assuming. For reverse. Yeah, dude, we're good. We're good. Alright, linkage is tight, arms tight, bell housing is tight, correct? Converter's tight. Mount. Hey, where's the um the big record? Customer Corey Hogan came through with a pilot spacer adapter. We got it put in. Now we're locked and loaded, ready to hit the road. What time is it like 12:30? 12:30. We got about a 10-hour drive if nothing goes wrong. So let's 
see you guys uh, tomorrow. Because <laughs> I doubt we'll make it today. But anyways, that's part of race week, right? So we'll see you guys on the road. All right, guys, first checkpoint. The El Toro's a little wounded right now. The, uh, the shifter, uh, I don't know if the cable went bad or whatever, but it'll only go into, uh, well, it would only go into low gear. It wouldn't like shift into high gear correctly. So they weren't getting into high gear. So what we did is had them crawl underneath it, switch it into second gear, just leave it there. And then uh, we disabled the neutral safety switch. So then, uh, and then the hook the linkage and then they just drive in everywhere in high gear, which is fine because we're pretty much in high gear throughout the mountains anyways. You don't really ever change. And uh, it's gonna elevate train stumps a little bit on the climbs up, but even then a lot of times we're in high gear going up the mountain. So we'll have to get a cable coming so we can, so Derek can continue his dominance at the next track. Dude, you're doing pretty solid with El Toro, man. It's been good, it's like a cool trick, just give me high gear. <laughs> give me high gear. Actually, yeah, that's a solid one. So we're gonna keep rolling. We are super behind and uh, we're going to run out of daylight before we get to where we're going at the end of the day. So, we go. <laughs> yeah. We're pretty much we're already there. We've gone about one, we're gone about 15% of the trip already. Oh, at two o'clock in the afternoon. Baddest dudes on race week. Hey, you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude. Hey, you guys see the junkyard? Nice shirt, brother. Nice. You fresh and clean now? Yeah, we're clean. We're all about fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing a few monsters can't fix. We ain't got no tunes, though, man. We gotta fix that. Dude, this thing's ready to win a Riddler Award, dude. They even polished it up. Nice. They didn't even leave, like, the show covers off of it. Wow. They're a little dirty, though. Oh, well, we'll let it fly this time, dude. Man. Rocking and rolling in the wagon. Here, I got you an ice cream bar. Hell yeah, you did. Best thing ever, dude. You order, you you earn that, dude. Damn, bro. Casey's. What time is it? Twelve thirty. Does it matter? <laughs> In the middle of nowhere, twelve thirty. Buddies, it don't matter. We're all going the same way. You pass us, we pass you. It's just a big exactly. It's lot, the best thing ever. A lot of horsepower. There's a gas station. Twelve thirty. About another hour, hour and a half. We'll be there. Well, some guys 45 minutes. Yeah. We might move fast enough. All right, guys. We'll see you there.